I am Mark Hill Williams, and I am an actor. <laughs> and um, I am, like Paul, one of the doctors um, in the film. So recently, um, uh, well, no, it would be that one. Um, for the, as, a, as a homosexual male, mm -hmm. I had been afraid of portraying a gay character, um, just simply because I felt that if that was the first time someone would see me, that they, would, they wouldn't believe that I could play a masculine role. So I had been avoiding and avoiding and avoiding and avoiding and avoiding. And the universe kept saying, don't avoid, don't avoid, don't avoid, don't avoid. And this film came along called Paul, um, Paul's. And it was about, uh, with the, I had just learned that black men within the community, um, specifically for every nine out of 10 men that you come in contact with, specifically black men, mm -hmm. they'll have HIV. Mm -hmm. And this film, it was on lovetoact.com. And then Chaz, who was the director, he ended up like hitting me up. Um, somehow had gotten my information. And so it was like, I saw it and then he hit me up. The film was called Paul's and it was about um, catching these individuals in moments where they should pause and think about protection. And um, I played two characters in this. I was, uh, well, I was one character in this with, in two scenes where I was meeting with uh, an old boyfriend and I was in the process of getting married. And I had had a comp, I, I had slept with my ex and now in the next scene you saw me coming home to like this person I was getting married to and yada yada yada. And I, that was my proudest moment because it was almost like my first hand at using art as a way of kind of like, um, not activism, but awareness. Mm. It was kind of like my way of using art. And later on that would grow into different things in like the theater world, but that was pro kind of like my proudest moment. And it kind of helped detour any kind of like negative ideas that I had had about indie projects from, just from things that I had heard at that point. I think at that point I had experienced a few and they were very small roles, but this one, I mean, it was so professional and it was so intimate um, and everything was just off the cuff. And that was my first time um, as an actor being told by the director, you know what, just to scratch the script. Because you two actors, you, you have this chemistry, so let's just, you know what I want from the script that you've read and the lines that you remember, so let's just, just run free. And um, I just liked how it just seemed kind of like performing in someone's living room as opposed to people like, they, obviously they have time, there you go, perfect. So that would have been, film is paused and it's on YouTube, you should check it out. But it was like a really, really, really good experience for me. And, and I think after that moment, I actually started looking for a lot of indie projects. I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate that I don't. Um, I've been around addiction, um, and fortunate for me, me being in those environments, it just made me um, want to kind of like look beyond that and be more cognizant of how I interact. Um, particularly with alcohol, um, because on my mother's side, I mean, alcoholism is very rampant, so, yeah. A chocolate chip, chewy, granola bar. Ooh, that's the first time I've Yeah. I mean, they're so slender, you know. Sweet. Just, yes. Give you a little energy. Mm-hmm. They are the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have